What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Last break of the night, 2022 Tops Chrome Hobby Baseball 12 box case break. Pikachu is number two. Again, all card ship, 12 boxes per case. And here we go. So you have a little character sign at the end of your name. That means you won that from a team random. And here we go. All right, and I'll probably rip the first six boxes, guys, and then we'll continue on with the next six. That's right, Joshua. You won the team, man. Congrats.
Well, this pack literally only have one card. Or two cards. I know. That's usually how it goes. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen. Did you see? Did you watch the jumbo case in the last one, Joshua? Uh, I had a box that had eight autographs in jumbo, and we ended up having a total of extra nine nine extra autographs in the whole case. Almost two extra boxes worth. So someone out there is gonna have a very horrible case, I assume. But maybe they have the banging hits, though. Who knows? I know, right? Yeah. They're gonna have the banging autos, they're gonna have the short prints. Alright, box four, guys. Whole case, baby. I'm just doing the first six boxes, though. And then we're gonna go through the cards. There might be a pretty big hit in number three. I feel like we're gonna hit like one of those super short friends. Hey Matt, how's it going, man? We get a crazy Juan Soto car, I know, right? I actually don't even know what the what the spread is. It don't matter. They're winning. <laughs> I thought it was like one and a half or something like that. Minus one and a half. Is that what it still is? Yeah, they play on Monday Night Football. They're the second game. How weird that week two actually has two Monday Night Football games, but 
Eagles are the late one. And then the Bills play the Titans at 4 o'clock. Two and a half now. I mean, I don't know. I'm confident they should win. But obviously, you know, obviously, I think the Vikings are pretty good. Are going to be pretty good this year. And, you know, obviously had a big win last week against the, the Packers. So, we'll see. Hopefully it's a good game. And, and you know, for me, I just hope the Eagles win. If they can cover for, for all the betters out there, even better. But as long as they get the dub. I know, man. Did you see that game on last week? Man. I was kind of hoping the Broncos would have won. Matt Arnold's a big Denver Broncos fan, too. Do you, do you have season tickets, right, Matt? Hey, Colorado celebrated though with the Avalanche winning. These guys still have that. Oh, that's right, you do have Raiders too, huh? My uh, my cousin that works here with us uh, is a big 49ers fan. Dude, he was telling me. I don't understand why, though. But why is 49ers Raiders? I get it. It's a rivalry, right? You know, back in the day when they're in the Bay Area. But why is it that on New Year's e on New Year's Day, right, Sunday, the, the cheapest tickets at resale for that game is like $500 to sit like in the high, the high nosebleed ones, you know? Why? Well, is it because it's like New Year's Day? Or are they just like... Just because it's like uh, 49ers Raiders. I, I just don't understand. I am excited, Matt. I'm not, I think they're going to take a big leap. I'm hoping they obviously make the playoffs and win a playoff series. I just I just don't understand how, why is it so expensive that year. I mean, that specific game. But he's a Kansas City Chiefs fan and his Bronx suit tickets, so I get to go to a game or two. Nice. That's awesome, man. But yeah, no, it's 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 pretty wild. I'm just it's kinda of mind blowing. Well, you sell the rest, do you do you go to the Broncos Raider games? I I would figure you'd go there, right? You'd just go enjoy Vegas for the weekend, watch a Raider game against your uh, uh, Broncos. Yeah, I'm going to week five. I'm going to Arizona. So, Eagles play the Cardinals this year. All right, here we go. Six boxes. Bragman to Sold those this year almost trip. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, you know, it does get pretty pricey going to Vegas nowadays. It ain't cheap, man. It ain't cheap, Mazeka. Just remember, you gotta <laughs> factor in you're gonna have a little bit of a gambling budget, you're gonna have a hotel stay, and obviously, if you gamble enough, you might be able to get comp nights or, you know, discounted nights, but. Obviously, then you, you guys have to, you would have to fly in, right? Unless you want to drive, but I doubt it. Fly in and, yeah, it gets a little expensive. Zach Short. I remember last year for my Eagles Raiders tickets, I paid like 500 bucks a piece for those. Luckily, though, I got, like, a little tip on the leak, uh, like, a leak of the uh, schedule. 
So I got it like the day before the the schedule dropped. So I booked my my rooms like you know Park MGM is like I had the best offer there. It was basically like literally like seventy bucks a night, and then they dropped the. Oh, oh man! Imagine that was Julio. That'd be crazy, Calrelli. But um, yeah, I, got, I I booked it like a night before, and then they announced the schedule, and then the prices went up to like three four hundred dollars a night that weekend for the Raiders Eagles. And how convenient too that that weekend was like EDC as well. They announced like EDC got pushed back that weekend, so it was even more expensive. So I saved so much money that weekend just because. Of all the leaks I found online. Lubov. Uh, that was Seattle Mariners. That's Michael with that one as well. Sorry, Gray. Luckily for Arizona, my in-laws live in Arizona. They're like 45 minutes away from Phoenix or, you know, Glendale or wherever the stadium's at. So it's a little bit of a drive, but, you know, I don't have to worry about paying for any any uh, hotel stay. So that's the good thing. Miguel Cabrera. Sorry, guys, I didn't realize this was a redemption right here. Giovanni Moran, rookie autograph gold wave refractor parallel. Minnesota Twins going to John. The weekend you're going, BYU is playing ND. The rooms are nuts, man. BYU just got killed today, too, by, uh, by my Ducks. Walker Bueller. Donaldson. That's right, Rex. Mooch off the in-laws. It's an excuse to go see them, too. Griffin Jacks. We're also bringing my, my father-in-law, so he's going to go to the game anyways. So It's going to be me, my wife, my mom, and then my father-in-law at the game. And then Joe Pizzle is going to join us at the tailgating party. So I don't know if Joe Pizzle will get tickets. I'm sure he will, probably day of. but Or maybe not, I don't know. But he's going to join us at the Fans of Philly tailgate. I convinced him to go. That should be some fun stuff. Four hours, open bar, food. Watch some early games. Should be fun. And Bryson Stott for the Phillies. Phillies has number to 199. That is Ben Smith. Trouty. Bo Bichette. Eagles tight end, former tight end, Brent Selleck is going to be there. And I, <laughs> Pizzle's like, I can't wait to get his autograph. <laughs> He's going to come in with like a jersey, a ball. <laughs> I'm like, never sleeps, Pizzle does. Always working. Brandon Marsh. And Hyo Park, rookie there for the Pirates. Whoa, Bobby Wood Jr., how about that? Royals were the top team in the team round, and Matthew Wood, congratulations. Hey, it's just a base Bobby Wood, but we'll take it. It's our first look right there. Nice. 
Was that the was that the stack that I said we'd hit something nice there? I, I didn't actually know that was a Bobby Wood in there, but I just figured maybe something nice. I said short print though, but still. I don't know if that was the stack. Mitch Hanniger. We got an Adam Wainwright orange wave. Number to 25. That's Cardinals, which is going to Joshua. McNeil. All right, fourth box. And a Ryan Mountcastle negative. There you go. Zach Pop. Corey Seeger. Ruhan. And Cutter Crawford. Kyle Seeger to 250. Wayne Ryan. I think so too, man. Chrome update. Imagine like when Sapphire pops out. And do like all these different Sapphires. Top Chrome Sapphire and Update Sapphire. Shoo. That's going to be nuts too. Showtime. Showtime again. And Trey and Bergy. Cincinnati Reds going to Brady. It's 150. Little Wander Frank goes back to back. And O'Neill Cruz. Emmanuel Rivera. Looks like, oh, it wasn't cut right. Maybe. It looks like a like, little extra right there. And like cut it off, I guess. That's Kansas City. And Chris Taylor. Dodgers. It's going to Jeremy. Judge Soler. All right, last box here, and then we'll go with the next six. Reese Hoskins. Shane Bieber. Brian De La Cruz from Miami. That's going to Matthew Wood. Wonder Franco.
Glenna Auto. <laughs> What's up, Joe? I know, right? She. she. No, I, I was okay with staying to 11 today. I had just said I wasn't going to probably go past 11 today. And I had a little ultimatum. They had to sell out this filler by 10 o'clock for me to break this break. So they did. They had two minutes to spare. So here we are. But this is my last break of the night, though. So, do a nine hour today. Two to ten, two to eleven. All right, next six boxes, halfway through. Inside their home, Rex. You you are you gonna fly us out to your home? So we'll we'll supply the case for you, but you have to fly us out then, right?
throw the plane cloths and, and, and throw lodging in there too? Where, where are we going to stay at? The customer's house? Imagine if Rex wins, I have to go to his house. I'm going to find like a bunch of pink nest quick everywhere. Cards all over the floor. Half half eaten pizzas. <laughs> What's the score of that game, at? Last time I checked, it was twenty-one ten. Did they did they just now blow it blow it out of the water now? Slow this mother effer down. I don't know about that promo, Rex. I I think I'd rather have a promo where you fly out to Jaspies and get to do like a case break with a breaker. We don't know who's gonna win. What if it's like a weirdo? They're gonna show up to their house and we get kidnapped. I don't know. You know, breaker napped. Forty-two seventeen. Eight minutes left. Oh yeah, they, they gotta slow it down. Oh, did you really, Matt? That's awesome, dude. Yeah, USC was so dominant those years. I don't care if they paid Reggie Bush. Yeah, you know, to go there. They still would have won. <laughs> Without Reggie Bush. I think they, what, they, what was the year they beat Oklahoma, I think? It was like a murder. <laughs> that's right that's right i seen that commercial today actually the wendy's commercial wendy's, wendy's actually has some pretty good commercials i must say you know they had the one uh the basketball commercial with uh with reggie miller you know of him never leaving reggie bush I don't really eat Wendy's too much, but if I ever do, I always get a Frosty, though. That's for sure. I like their spicy chicken nuggets there, too. Just gotta think all nasty, Rex. I swear. Throw up, Rex. Yes, their Twitter is very good, actually. Joshua, I'm with you. Their Twitter is really funny. I'm not going to repeat that. <laughs> it's a recorded video here. No, I 
have not. Do I actually have that, Rex? Is it is it hard? I mean, I'd rather just go buy it. They're only like under a buck or two, whatever it is. I can't think of kids' frosties like a buck. Um, I live in downtown Long Beach right now currently, Matt. I've been living there for about a year and a half. So about like a mile or so from like the Pike area. About like half a mile from where all the little, little bars and restaurants are at. I'm like one block off Pine. I'm on Long Beach Boulevard. So Eagle Bran, condensated milk, Cool Whip, chocolate syrup, that's all the ingredients. Really? That seems pretty simple. I don't know, Frosties are great though, man. I mean, I guess I don't really eat them much, but whenever I do, it's just amazing. Yeah, I grew up in the San Gabriel Valley, so I grew up in Almani, which is about like 30, 35 miles from here or so. Um, off the 60, between the 10 and the 60 freeway. Yeah, Joe's been in Santa Monica for a very long time, actually, yeah. He's been, I think he's been living in the same place for a while now. I just moved closer out here, uh, like, two, three years ago. Yeah, they do have strawberry racks. I haven't tried that one, though. Um, yeah, I was first in Gardena and then upgraded to a little bit better place in Long Beach. And I actually love living in Long Beach, actually. It's pretty, it's pretty fun, actually. It's, you know, I mean... Just like anywhere, there, there'll be some bad areas and stuff like that. But it's been it's been very cleaned up as of late, though. Like, uh, you know, last few years they've really cleaned up the city. And, uh, you know, we see everybody scootering everywhere now. So there's scooters all over the place. Yeah, there's a couple of times. I, I end, me and my wife ended up buying, like, last year our own electric scooters. So we never really had to rent them. So whenever we want to go down to, like, the Pike area and go eat, like, a... Nice lunch or dinner, then we just kind of just scoot her down and then uh, enjoy her little afternoon night or whatever, and then just scoot her back. The strawberry one tastes like cough syrup? That's not good. Well, good thing I've never tried it, Joe. Probably never will now. <laughs> oh, damn, really? Shit. Guys. 
actually, Joshua, John Wayne is actually in Orange County. We're like four miles from LAX, so maybe where you were at, that was in Orange County over there. Um, because John Wayne probably from here is like thirty plus miles down the four hundred five. So probably closer to like Huntington Beach, maybe. That's where you were at. At a ninety nine Garrett Cole. Showtime. Mike Ballman. Yeah, Costa Mesa is like right there. Yeah. I was just thinking if you meant like a beach city. Alright. I don't know if it's a little indented right there. You guys see that? On that uh, Monty. Just wanted to show you that there. Luis Garcia. Houston. Rafael Devers. The 250. There's a Yachty there. I don't think that Yachty's a short print. No. Yeah, yeah, we're really close to LAX. Hermosa Beach. So it's like, if you think about it, like off the 105... 405, LAX, then it'd be El Segundo, then it'd be Manhattan Beach, Hermosa Beach, Redondo Beach, then like Palos Verdes, and then you'll go to like, uh, you know, San Pedro, then to Long Beach, and if like you were going down the coast on PCH, that's pretty much how it goes. Never tried that in my life, Rex, but <laughs> probably, I guess. Isn't the Mexican pizza back today at Taco Bell, if I'm correct? Trey and Berge. The Cincinnati Reds. Trevor Story. Soto again. Michael Brantley. Not a pizzle. Nothing. You're too late. John Means. John Means. I think I might have only tried the Mexican piece like once. Really? I remember talking about having fries. That's right. I don't think I ever reading that. I think weren't wasn't it like people like their their fries with the the nacho cheese, roasting Contreras. I always did like to get their Taco Bell nacho cheese like on the side and get like a side of just chips, and just eat like you know kind of like nachos in a sense, like dip it in with with chips. But I never tried the fries with that. Never tried, like, you know, I think a lot of people like to probably want, like, McRib. Never tried the McRib at McDonald's ever. I don't even think I've ever tried a filet of fish <laughs> Yeah, the chips and cheese is great. I do love that, though, yeah. Shit, I might even stop and get some tonight. I haven't had Taco Bell in months.
Baja Blast. That is, that is great. Remember when they had... Do they still have Cold Red? I remember I used to drink Cold Red there a lot when I was a kid. Jake Myers. I grew up eating a lot... I not, I'm not to say I grew up eating a lot of Taco Bell, but that's where I went more because of my grandma. She always liked that. My wife personally likes Del Taco better. She thinks like it's like fresher and tastes better. I mean, whatever. It's fast food anyways. But... I don't know, I've always kind of stayed loyal. Vidal Bruhan. Siri. I have tried Del Taco's fish fries, actually. <laughs> they have burgers there, don't they? <laughs> I think my, 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 my uh, brother in law used to get them a lot. Kevin Smith. I think what food item I've ever tried at Dairy Queen has been, uh, I think, like their chili cheese dog. But um, Dairy Queen, my go-to, I just, I love to get their, like, their uh, peanut buster parfait. That's, like, my favorite there. Get extra whole peanuts. I don't know, Joe, actually. I mean, I know Baja Blast now is sold, like, in two liters in cans now. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen them, though. I know some people go obsessed with that shit. Let me double check. I didn't. Did I get? Let me make sure I didn't miss an auto because I think I did. I think there was just two base. Maybe not. Maybe, uh, wow, I guess maybe we were missing an auto then. I thought I might have skipped over a base, because I almost skipped over that Kevin Smith, but I don't see it. So maybe we're short one auto here. We did have that jumbo case that had, like, freaking an extra nine in there, so, I mean, I don't know, but... Let me make sure I counted that right, but we got one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 15, 16, 17. Yeah, we're missing one. I think we're missing one. Yeah, I went through the whole stack that I just finished and I didn't see it. All right, let's continue on. Maybe we'll get an extra one over here. What the fuck? Oliver, what's going on, man? No, not tonight, man. I mean, I still have an extra hour today. But uh, we're, we're done after this break. Ryan Zimmerman. That's a negative. 
Taco Bell, Oliver? What's your take on Taco Bell, Oliver? You like it? Josh Lowe. I love, I love honestly anything cherry. I love like cherry. Whoa, back to back autos. Maybe that's our auto right there. Literally, I think they were stuck together. So there you go. Maybe that's where it's at. I love like cherry Dr Pepper, cherry Coke. Like it's, stuff's great. <laughs> Take one run the jumbo case. I know, right? Cheesy gordita crunch. Oh, actually, this is gold. Freddie Freeman. I noticed that just because the Atlanta was gold. Nice one there for the Braves. That's Matthew. Wander Franco. All right, so there it is. There's our there's our third auto. So this one actually had three autos. So maybe that's what happened. I wish In and Out delivered all. <laughs> That'd been awesome. In and out would be great. Some four by four, huh? Animal stuff fries. Add some chopped chilies in there. Woo! End it off with a little shake. All right, two more boxes. City, Reyes, wow, all rise, Aaron Judge, autograph, Yankees, that's going to Jeremy, that is pretty nice, that is 14 out of 25, did you wait like four hours in line? Joshua, I remember that crazy line they had that one time in Colorado. It was nuts. That was pretty nice right there. <laughs> Edward Cabrera. Jazz Chisholm? That's just a base. Curtis Terry to Alrighty guys, here we go, down to the last box. Let's see what we got here. Nicky Lopez, man, I would have loved that to be Bobby Wood Jr. To one ninety nine. Wander Franco. Sonny Gray. 
Damn, you're right, Rex. I went over the time, huh? Dang. Vidal Bruhan. And Ronnie Dawson is his second auto. My last stack right here. Pujols. Charlie Marte and... There we go, guys. <sighs> Alrighty, guys, and there you go. That was the break. Did manage to get some good autos, including a Bobby Witt in this case, which was nice. I think we're I think we're getting there, guys. We're slowly creeping up. Maybe Chris in the next two days will get you some nicer stuff. Wander Franco, maybe maybe the Julio, short print autograph, maybe Cal Rally was a nice orange too as well. There's the Bobby Witt, but then we ended off here in the last box with this nice Aaron Judge, at a 25. So appreciate it, guys. This was break number two of hobby. Jaspiescasebreaks.com.